Welcome to Medium Rare, VR sculpting tips served up fast. This is episode 13, here we go again. This episode I'm going to show you how I go about making stylized hair with a few top tips. Okay, so this is the sort of thing that we're going to get at the end. So first off, I generally start exactly how I always start. Primitive shape, much like what we want. The romantic caveman, the very first thing. In the very first tutorial video I ever put up, we pick a primitive that looks a lot like the shape that we're trying to make, we place it down and then we move it. It's all about filling primitives, you see, so the romantic caveman. So I'm just going to split the hair into simple groups. So this is a main group, there's a little side group there, another group there, another group here, this part separate, the bit at the back separate. We'll go with that and start with. This is just set pretty high strength. Don't really need an inner radius just now. We're going to try and move as much of the thing as we can. Tear meets at the back. Something like that. Simple. Okay, I'm going to duplicate that one. We could, um, we could just make a new one, but you know, I think this is just the deal. Same here as well on the outside, hardly touching it at all. Push down, button, it's very subtle. There we go, that's okay. Gonna pinch this, just grab and scale down using the thumbstick. And for these big long ones, I mean we could do something similar in actual fact, and it's shaped like a bar of soap. I'm just gonna place one, I want a nice clean shape. Okay, this is. Same again, just the pill, fairly high strength, not hundred too much. I'm using it facing down into it so that it moves the entire piece here to full strength. So get it, keep the thickness. Same again. Nothing more to it. That's as simple as it gets. I'm just twisting it. I'm going to twist it the other way. No, let's go one way and then the other. And we're going to add a little bit of rhythm to the tuning and just twist it back in the opposite direction. Scale down and pinch. Often, what I'll do is I'll just double up. I'm going to grab it and scale it down. Have it overlap. Twist around. An interesting sort of thing that here does, might do, just to add a bit of visual interest. The beard is made in the exact same way, like absolutely identical. Put the detail into there. This is a sketch, we're not going for finished here, and it's also completely sculptural, you know, so we're putting in the gesture and the rhythm and a suggestion of where the hair is. We're not trying to make a finished piece here, it's not, you know, it's not x -Dain. So, what I normally do, we'll pick clay, we'll pick a stamp. I really like the traditional ones, they're very pointy, and that's kind of what we want. Not pointy, they face the wrong way though, for some reason, pain. Grab it, push down the thumbstick, turn it, and try and line up as best you can with the middle of it. And the middle point in your in the middle of your shape in the middle of your stamp because when you scale up and down it scales from that point so if you miss it then when you're scaling up and down it ends up skew 
bit of a negative. Steady stroke. Start right here and just draw like that. That's not high enough raise. Keep it low raise for moving it about at the start and then you up raise the, the details. And what we want to do is we don't want to have them all the same length. That's just not going to work. And we don't want to have them all the same thickness either. I mean, we can obviously look at his hair and, you know, get a bit of the flavour for that. So that's one. You can make that a bit longer again. Sure. And I'm taking it along and lifting it up out of the surface so that we get that natural paper. I'll repeat this on them all. We're not trying to put every hair in here, that would be ridiculous. We're just trying to give the suggestion of the directionality of the hair. Give it some highlights when we go to render it. Also, try not to keep them all straight with one another. They should be going somewhere. And then what I do, I'm going to reinforce the change here. So where we've gone in, I'll come out on the other side. And some, it depends how I'm feeling, whether I'll go in or out on one side or the other. Doing this a la prima, straight into the clay, but more often than not, I'll actually put this on a separate layer before I do that. See, so it just reinforces the change. It makes a better highlight. Smooth them together. Still our average. Then I'm going to use the move and I'll pinch very gently. Just like the more hair like feeling. And reinforce the flow and directionality of the, the hair. Like this here, a bit more flow, a bit more motion. And then let them flow over one another, flow down. And Grabbing the points and doing them. Also, doing the whole thing. Just a little bit more motion. Reinforcing that hair like feeling. It should be slightly higher, raise. I'm losing detail there. I didn't want to do that. Like that, and you know what? I don't have a great deal more to it. Oh, yeah, sorry, loose hairs, exact same as this. In fact, I could put them on the same layer because they're not touching, so then just maybe take a very slightly lighter color and just put a couple. Again, they're too wide. Oh. Obviously these would have the lines cut in and all the rest of it. And there's nothing more to it than that. The beard is done in the exact same way. There's just one little thing on the beard I would like to show you. I'm just going to hold the beard on and then So, here's tend to be in two parts. There's a big part here, and there's a little part further down. So, we'll make them stick. Oops. 
a little bit in here. Where's this? Here's the move of the pedal. I grab it and we pull it one way, and we go grab it. We pull it over the other. Okay, folks, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you find this useful, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.